All right, so I want to show you how to use the calendar in Go High Level. So in Go High Level, if you want to book uh, an appointment with someone, you can either book it through a landing page where the appointment's embedded, but you can also go to calendars. So if you're on the dashboard, you go here to calendars in the left, click on calendars, and you'll see calendars will come up. And you can choose the calendar for staff members and you can book a time with them. Now, this is the calendars view. This is different to if you go to settings and then go to calendars, and this is where you can configure the calendars and set them up. What we want to do is go back and go to calendars, and this is where we can book appointments in the calendar, okay? So what I'm going to do is just go forward a few weeks. I'm going to choose a calendar of someone, and I'm going to book an appointment for them. So there's two ways of booking um, two, two ways of booking the appointments. Number one, you can click here and then you can ask to book an appointment or you can block off time so people can't book appointments and you can say book an appointment. The problem with doing it this way is um, it won't take the time that that appointment is. So just say that time of the appointment is normally a one and a half hour appointment. If you click here and it's half hour, it'll make it a half hour appointment. If you drag this and make it one and a half hour, it'll then make it one and a half hours. But if you've got multiple appointments and you don't know how long that appointment is, then you're assuming it's one and a half hours. A better way of doing it is to actually just click book appointment, okay? And then choose the person you want to book the appointment with, with that salesperson. So click the person you want to book the appointment with. So now I'm booking for a salesperson. Now this person, Alex, is available on certain uh, you know appointments we can book. There's one called a breakthrough call. And so I've chosen that team member. We choose the team member. This is the time it's showing the times in. Um, we can put an appointment title. So breakthrough call with Alex and Marlon. So Alex is the, is the team member. Marlon is me, the prospect. Um, any additional preferences, meeting location, we'll just do what's in that meeting, the appointment. So that calendar was set up with a certain um, configuration where I think it's a, it's a Zoom. And so we're just going to say, let's just use what's the default. Um, you can type some notes in here if you like. We, we, you select the time. And this is actually showing the slot in LA time, or you can update that to the time zone. Um, of the right per of, of the person if you like so you can go here and see what that time looks like for that person um, this is the time here 3 30 to 3 45 and then you can book the appointment so let's open this Now you can see here that this appointment was created. So that's a cancelled appointment. I did a test before. This one here is the actual appointment I just booked. And you can see that it's been booked. It's got the Zoom link in there. Uh, it's got all the information. The email has been sent to this person. Uh, to, to me, it's been sent to Alex. So everyone is confirmed. If I want to, I can then you know make a few updates, and copy the link. I can view the activity on it. Um, Here's the activity log. Uh, and then if I want to, I can cancel that appointment, okay? Uh, I can cancel it. Uh, and the other thing I can do is I can reschedule it so I can move it to here. And there it's there. And then all the emails will be sent off to update that appointment with everybody. And then finally, if I do want to, I can go through, I can click cancel and it'll cancel the appointment and send off all the emails to cancel that appointment and you can see it goes red.